In recent times a storm has been brewing in the heart of Poland. The verdant fields are echoing with the voices of Polish farmers, rising in protest against a flood of agricultural imports from Ukraine. Their outcry is a complex melody, a song of trade dynamics, standards disparity, and the struggle for survival. It's not a simple tune, but a symphony of concerns, layered and intertwined. The Polish farmers, guardians of the land, are grappling with a perceived imbalance in production standards. They toil under stringent regulations, while they believe their Ukrainian counterparts enjoy a more lenient set of rules. This, they feel, creates an uneven playing field, a game skewed against them. Add to that, fears of local markets being swamped by cheaper Ukrainian products, threatening their livelihoods. The crux of the matter is not just about import and export, it's about disparity, fairness, and survival of the local farming community. Polish farmers are fighting an uphill battle, they claim they're not playing on a level field. Picture this. On one side we have the Polish farmers, working tirelessly under stringent regulations, meeting high standards of food safety, environmental sustainability, and labor practices. This commitment to quality often comes with a higher price tag, elevating their production costs. On the other side of the border, Ukrainian producers are perceived to operate under more relaxed regulations. This leniency, Polish farmers allege, allows Ukrainian counterparts to produce cheaper goods, undercutting Polish prices. The disparity in rules and regulations creates what the Polish farmers see as an uneven playing field. It's like a tug of war where one side has an unfair advantage. It puts Polish farmers at a competitive disadvantage, trying to sell their goods in a market filled with cheaper alternatives. Then there's the potential ripple effect on local agricultural markets. Imagine a flood of cheaper Ukrainian products flowing into Poland. This could drive down prices domestically, leading to reduced incomes and profitability for local producers. It's a domino effect that could topple the livelihoods of farming communities across Poland, particularly those small-scale and family-owned operations that are the backbone of the country's agriculture. In the grand chessboard of agricultural trade, Polish farmers fear they are the pawns, vulnerable and at a disadvantage. There's a palpable fear among the Polish farming community, the fear of the market being flooded by cheaper Ukrainian products. Let's delve deeper into this concern. Imagine your local grocery store, once brimming with homegrown apples, potatoes and wheat now stacked with similar products but with a made in Ukraine tag. The scenario doesn't seem harmful at first glance, after all, consumers would welcome a wider range of choices, right? But here's the catch. Ukrainian products, thanks to their lenient production regulations, can be priced lower. This pricing advantage could potentially tip the scale in favor of Ukrainian imports. And if this happens, the demand for locally grown Polish produce might take a hit. As a result, local producers could face a drop in their profits and incomes. This is the fear that's keeping Polish farmers awake at night. The specter of reduced incomes and profitability looms large, threatening the very livelihood of farming communities across Poland. But this unrest isn't just about economics, it's about history, national pride, and independence. Polish farmers view the surge of Ukrainian goods as a reminder of past territorial disputes and conflicts, adding a layer of complexity to the protest. This isn't merely a question of trade dynamics, but a deeper issue entwined with the threads of national sovereignty. The influx of Ukrainian imports is seen by some not just as an economic issue, but a symbolic affront to Polish sovereignty. In the end, it's a call for fairness, protection of domestic agriculture, and food security. Polish farmers aren't just worried about the immediate threat of Ukrainian imports. They're looking ahead, at the larger picture. They understand the importance of domestic production for food security. They know that too much reliance on imports could leave them vulnerable to disruptions in global markets, to the whims and vagaries of international trade. They're calling for trade on fair terms. They argue that it's not just about economic growth, but also about the well-being of local communities, the survival of family-owned farms, the preservation of a way of life. They believe that trade should not only be about the exchange of goods, but also about respect for sovereignty, for independence, for the right to determine one's own destiny. Addressing the concerns of Polish farmers requires a nuanced approach, balancing the benefits of trade with protection of domestic agriculture and food security. The fields of Poland are waiting and the world watches on.